What's up guys? You're watching MTG Rocks. My name is Jake Viper. Time to play another Theros Beyond Death Draft. In my first Theros Beyond Death Draft video, I went undefeated with Demir. Check that out in our channel if you haven't seen it yet. So this time we're doing best of one though instead of best of three. Uh, I like best of three more when it comes to drafting, but um, let's try this uh, rank best of one. See what we get. Okay, our rare is a Shadow Sphere. Not that powerful. Um, not really a big bomb, but um, can give a creature trample and lifelink. Hmm. Permanence your. Mm, I guess I'll keep. Put it in. Okay. Uh, right, you got Rise to Glory here. You can return a creature or uh, enchantment from the graveyard. She's one or both, so we can bring back an enchantment and a creature. And I think I'll pick that one. So, got the aspect here, nothing really great. Black, white. Um, the War Bryce Blessing, though. Great fight card. Hmm. I think we'll get the Leonin. Okay, we got Witness of Tomorrow. Uh, Flicker of Fate. Mm, I would love to run blue, but I think I'm going to get Flicker of Fate here. Another Witness of Tomorrow's, really? Uh, Blight Breath's a good removal. I think I'm going to get that. Uh, Venomous Hierophant. It's either Glory Bringers or Discordant Piper. Uh, I, gl glory Bearers. We can bring that back to Rise to, glor with Rise to Glory. Um, Dawn Evangel or Nyxbone Marauder. Hmm. Uh, when a creature dies, if an already controlled is attached to it, return target creature card. So we have an aura here, do we? Not, not, no auras yet. We'll get a Dawn Evangel. Uh, Soul Reaper Mogus. Um, Grim Position. Aspect of Flam free, yeah, whatever. Rage card, Berserker, and Temple Thief. All right. Pack two. We're not running red, so we're not going to pick that. Uh, we have Transcendent Envoy. Another Bright, uh, Blight Breath. Got a Plepus. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to get another Blight Breath. Okay, we got a rare we can use, finally. Gravebreaker Lamia. It's not that scary, but if we have some escape cards, we can... Uh, Final Death. Banishing Light, for sure. Okay. Hellion's, Hellion's Punishment. Uh, Farika's Libation. And send an envoy. Another venomous hierophant. Do we need an envoy or Nyxborn cursor? Hmm. Or enemy of enlightenment. No, I think I'm going to get an Envoy here. Uh, another Temple Thief, maybe. Two 5-drop cards. I'll get the Temple Thief. Send an Envoy. Mm, scavenging Harpy. Okay, pack three. Yes, we got a rare that we can use. Woe Strider. Uh, 
think I want enemy of enlightenment. Wow, we can get Omen of the Dead. Uh, I think I'd rather get Captivating Unicorn. Hmm. Agonizing Remorse. Do I need Agonizing Remorse? I feel like this is so crappy late game. Uh, Soul Reaper, Mogus. I'll get Agonizing Remorse. Triumphant Surge. Another Triumphant Surge. I don't mind getting another Bright... Blight Breath. Freakus Libation. Do we need another... Perikus Libation or another Triumphant Surge. Kills big creatures. Hmm. We already have two Triumphant Surge and already two Perikus Libation. This one costs more, but it kills big creatures. This one gives them a choice. Another Triumphant Surge. How many two drop creatures do we have? Two, five. We have already enough of that. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Orzhov it is with Shadow Sphere. Not even sure if I want to include Shadow Sphere. Three Bright Blight Breath. We don't have that. Uh, we have 75 drop cards. Pick that out. I think two Venomous Hierophant, maybe one is enough. Okay, maybe two is enough. Uh, Soul Reaper, Mogus. Dawn Evangel's okay. Omen of the Dead. Uh, let's trample and lifelink. It just gives a creature tramp. Not that great. Flicker of Faith has a lot of uses. So I think I'm going to keep that. Maybe the one Temple Teeth is enough. No. One, four, five. I kind of want to bring this back. I like having a lot of removal cards in a deck. Maybe one Venomous Hierophant is enough. One, four, five. Take out Agonizing Remorse. Hmm. Maybe take out Flicker of Fate. And... Uh 
Let me remove Rage Guard Berserker and just put Flicker of Fate. Two, three. All right, let's try this out. Orzov. I'm not gonna use the equipment. At least we have Strider. Okay, playing against a Taraxxus 24. Okay, no white mana, but we can play Woe Strider turn 3. We only have one white card anyway. Keep this. Okay, there goes our planes. Okay, so you're just running one white. Okay, looks like he's playing Orzov as well. Gives it hexproof. Give that hex proof. It's go ahead and scribe one. Don't need another one of those. Glory bears. So we can block that, but he might flash. Is there a enchantment that he can flash? No. You will want to go ahead and kill that before. Oh, it's a guy hexproof. Never mind. Hmm. It's like he's stuck in three mana. Uh, sure. Got hexproof. Wow, that's gonna be hard to kill. Uh, got double strike. So we can play this and then we can have enough mana to sack something. I think we want to kill that because this boosts up its toughness when it attacks by one. Uh. Hmm.
Okay, great. We got another Blight Breath. We can swing with that. No. Okay, very defensive. One bottom. Okay, get it in the bottom. Hmm. Orzhov versus Orzhov. I might have to sack a creature here. Okay. That's one way to kill the favored. Does he have an enchantment? No, he doesn't. Okay. Attack the harpy. Loses all abilities. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice itself. We can't bring that back yet, but we can final death this creature later. Just to so we can bring back Woe Strider. Great double strike. Can kill one, kill another. No blocks. Okay, you gotta be careful now. Hmm. Can banishing light something?
cape, XL4 cards. I can exile the artifact. Oh, I forgot to use Banishing Light. Oh, great. I'm glad I held on to that though. We're gonna block that with a goat. Forgot to activate this. I guess that helps. Now what to exile? Oh, you can't block this card. Okay, Venomous Hierophant. Banishing Light, here we go. I think I'm gonna target Enemy of Enlightenment here. Let's see. I think that's game. Yes. Uh, Orza versus Orza. Game one win. All right, let's try to get seven wins without losing three times. This is just best of one. Smash that like button if you enjoy that. Okay. Game two. Jackie Rondell. All right, so we got four lands, triumphant surge, rage card berserker. I'll keep this. Okay, I thought it's another Orzov deck. I guess you can trade here. That counters that one because it exiles so it won't escape. Oh, never mind. I need to buy time. Until I can play Bright Blight Breath. I hope we play a creature with power four or greater. That way we can champ and search it. Okay. Sure. It's gonna die by the time. Okay, great, 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 great. Rage card berserker. Sure. Okay, he's crying. 
Love Rise to Glory. Oh shoot. I think we're gonna kill that one first. There's a pump spell that gives plus three plus two, so he can save the harpy. Okay. That's fine with me. Another one? can actually do this bring that back and bring that back kill that can escape that one though then we can triumph and search it Sure. Or Banishing Light. That way it won't escape. But the thing is, I might need Banishing Light for something else. And let's just swing. He needs two more cards. Great, we need a big threat. Just in case he needs to make us discard something. Or if he has that enemy of enlightenment. Great, great, great. We'll give us a little... Do we have an escape card in the deck? Uh, we can put a card from our deck to the graveyard. So we want to get... Whoa, Strider. <laughs> Alright, two wins. We have a good amount of removal cards in this deck. Playing as Dio. Alright, four cards. We got the Grave Breaker Lamia again. Hope you can play by turn five. Cool lightning bolt sleeves. Black. A lot of people playing black. It's just it looks like it's the best color in Thirst Beyond Death Limited. Another Rakdos player. Too bad I can't exile anything. But it, we got a flyer on the board. Okay, we might have to exile that. I 
kind of want to see Vanishing Light. this one first try to bait out a removal might have final death okay we can kill that with Triumphant Surge. can attack that, but I got Glory Bearers, so yeah, pretty useless. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the Blight Breath. Okay, he's probably gonna attack the 4 4 here. Can deal with that later. I hope he doesn't make us discard like that um, Lamprey um, aura that makes this uh, player discard two cards. Yeah, we gotta kill that now. He's gonna get card advantage for that one. Might that's worth maybe using Banish the Light now. Okay. I guess we can trade. Can bring that back later. That can't block. Mm, do I really need to banishing like that? I, I'll just banishing light a creature with power four or greater. <clears throat> yeah, I like that one. I can banishing light that one. Hmm, Blight Breath's coming. Can kill for two. Okay, four more damage. He might play the Blight Breath here to kill my Harpy. This can't block, so he'll have to. He'll have to block. He'll have to let Blight Breath die. I think that's game. He's gonna quit, just like the last time. Good game.
can um Okay, he might have a removal card. He's got three mana left. Okay. Even that can't block these two. And we're gonna make him s oh no, wait. If we make him sack celebrant, he can kill one of these guys. But yeah, I think that's game. Can't he can sack that creature? Okay. Sure, let's go put the pressure on. Can kill the glory bears. Oh shoot. I'd love to kill both. Yep, we got this. Three wins guys. Smash the like button if you enjoyed watching our first three games. For the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys. Let's try to get some more. Try to stay undefeated again. What is stuck? I really like playing Black and Theris Beyond Death Limited. Okay, game four, guys. Bond Faust. Still no losses. Three wins, zero losses. Keep this. It's not good that we don't have white mana, but at least we have Temple Teeth. Hopefully we get a plane soon enough. There you go. Just in time. Maybe I should play Temple Teeth first. Okay, sure. We can actually triumphant surge that later. Just gonna escape that later. Okay, we can triumphant surge this one. Got some powerful creatures. Okay, Helion's punishment is coming. We got the removal to deal with that. Attack this one. Play Temple Teeth. It's got four turns. What? All these powerful cards. <laughs> we got crazy removals to get rid of his threats. Wow. Okay, sure. I can kill that with, oh no. Okay, we have Devotion 3. Hmm. Gonna block with a 4 4 here. That's okay. In Blight Breath. <coughs> That's gonna be free soon enough. And he can bring back uh, Lotsum. Uh, whenever we attack with three or more creatures. 
I want to block, block that now so that way it can rise to glory later. When this drops off, I can bring back both again, like what I did earlier. Oh no. Okay, at least we got this. He forgot to unlock it, did he? Oh, he didn't. You can trade, then I'll exile it. Oh no. That's gonna give him card advantage. Yes, it's a land. Rage card berserker on the envoy. Then we attack the envoy. Now we can pray a rise to glory next turn. We have the we'll have devotion to black three, so we can get rid minus three on something. What does that do? Gains trample X is the number of floor counters. Okay. Gets trample too. We got 24 life. Oh no. That gets rid of an artifact enchantment. Target creature control fights. Hmm. One card in the graveyard. And he can exile it. This is sorcery speed. I think I'm going to play Woe Strider first. Wait. He can exile my creature. There you go. Because I don't want him to exile a card from my graveyard. So that helps. Now I can... Do I rise? Rise to glory. Actually, I'll play Woe Strider first. That way I have devotion for it. Enough to kill that. The <laughs> that will give him some card advantage though. We don't want him to reach chapter 3. Because he's going to fight one of our creatures. Okay, give that trample. Scry. Don't need a land. We're going to play Rise to Glory here. Bringing back Blight Breath. both choose a creature <laughs> so good yes put it that we'll have devotion for killing that one two three four That's game. Four wins, guys. No losses yet. Let's try to stay undefeated with this deck. I'm glad I picked that black-white card. That was, I think, pack one, pick two. <coughs> Alright, let's try to get three more wins with this deck. Okay, done done 41. Let's go.
if you enjoyed the first four matches guys uh four games please uh smash the like button um all right so one land looks like we're gonna mulligan this one first time we mulligan in this video uh, i'm gonna keep this probably bring back hmm. i'll probably get another land soon Not red, not red, please not red. I don't want it to be too fast. I need to stabilize. Come on. Okay, green. Soap is not a fast deck. Please no two drop creatures yet. Yes, we can. I like scavenging harpy can get rid of an escape creature but i don't like it in the opening hand because it, it doesn't do it, its effect but we still got a flyer so i guess that helps oh, really mogus Banishing light could banish the loads of a chimera. Hmm. I don't want to really banish that one. Um, I, th I think I'll go ahead and banishing light. No, we can't escape. Uh, he might have a... What is he gonna do? Is he gonna sack it? Hmm. <coughs> okay. He's gonna do... Return to nature. Great. We can bring that back to, with Rice of Glory later. I'm actually glad he did that. If he attacks this one, we might just take it. We need our fifth land soon. Oh, no, no. No. That's not good. We can make him sack the enchantment. But he might flash something, so that's the risk. Uh We when this attacks we might have an enchantment to flash. Oh my god, this is pretty tough. Then he can sack the Soul Reaper, so I might make him sack the enchantment right now. If he has that red omen... That was dumb, I forgot that was an enchantment. I forgot that was an enchantment. My bad. It's gonna force Harpy to attack here. I think it's time to use Rise to Glory. This has to attack. Each tap creature, so this will die. 
All right, we're, I love the combination here where we can bring um, Voice Strider to the graveyard so we can escape it later on. If he kills that, we can bring it back with Rise to Glory and another creature because this is an enchantment creature. So, even if he kills that, we can come back. I think we can come back. We'll be able to come back easily. Because we can bring back Banishing Light or one of the creatures. That's pretty brave. Two cards in the grave. Hmm. We'd be able to bring back... No. Can't bring back Woe Strider yet. I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll put a creature in the graveyard, something in the graveyard that I don't want to draw. I don't think I want to draw a Temple Chief. I could have chosen Banishing Light. I did made that another misplay. Oh, that was my mistake. My mistake, my mistake. Why did I not choose two modes? I think we can deal with this. We'll just put Hellie's Punishment on that one. I messed up on that one. brave of him and block with the goat and exile that to exile the chimera here I'll just use Heliod's Punishment on the Viper later. Shoot. He's, that's brave. Okay. It's not a problem. Try to catch up. Oh no. What is that? He can get a creature or land. So he can get that. And land. Creature and or land. Okay. Another Transcendent Envoy. Go ahead and attack this one. He's gonna probably block with a Viper here. But we can... Woe Strider. We can escape it.
All right, let's try it. Transcendent Envoy. Maybe I should have swung with that one. Can deal one damage to the goat. Sure. Oh, he can sack it. Shoot. Shoot, he can sack it. He's gonna kill this anyway. I feel like I messed up so badly in this game. With the rise to glory. I didn't I can't believe I didn't pick an enchantment. Yeah, sure. Oh, great. She's gonna gain some card advantage now. This is bad. We need Blight Breath or something. Great. No blocks. <coughs> need to kill that. What? Can kill the blood aspirant. He can save it by sacrificing a creature, but I don't think he wants to sacrifice any of his creatures. He can sacrifice the cyclops, I guess. Card is good. So this one can block that one. It's about to be freed. He gets to draw two cards. We're going to block with those two. We'll try to rec we'll try to survive this one. We'll have to block the nine three here. I hope he doesn't have another aspect of Manticore. Now we can bring back Woe Strider. See, does he have any escape cards? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's try to survive. OK, 
Okay, he's got an enchantment. One, two, three, four. Then we can make him sack a creature, I guess. Got 13 cards left in the deck. Sack a creature. Sure, mill yourself, please. <laughs> I got rid of that. Block, then use its ability, sack. Not what we need. Okay, we need two more cards in the graveyard to bring it back. No, no. No, not flooded. I hope you're flooded too. It's going to be hard to recover from this. Okay. He might kill me next turn. <coughs> At least we have a blocker. He's gonna escape that card. We need to put something in the graveyard so we can bring back Bow Strider. Watch it play another. There you go, our first loss, guys. All right, so four one so far. I think I made that stupid misplay. I don't know why I didn't select two modes, but I hope I can uh, try to get the seven wins. Okay. Eurisly or Eurisly or Gray. I think there's it means something when you spell it backwards. All right, I'll keep this. This looks good. Hello. Okay, we're gonna go Temple Chief here. Looks like turn three for uh, uh, Woe Strider. Okay, are you willing to trade? I don't mind trading. Play our Woe Strider. Block, then we're gonna scry here. We need to land more than anything. Uh, I don't think I need that yet, but I don't want to put it in the bottom. Huh. I hate to put that in the bottom, but we need to land more. Oh no, he can exile my Woe Strider. Okay, I think we need to slow him down. Maybe I should have done Farika's Libation first. Right. We're stuck in three lands. 
I should have done this first. Oh, he's got that too. Gonna bring a card with escape. Okay, he might bring that back with blood black omen. We can make him sack that enchantment though. He only has one enchantment. I'm gonna go ahead banishing like the venomous. Can trade. Okay, he's gonna free that soon enough. We need that port land ASAP. There you go. There goes the omen. He's gonna bring back the 4 4 life linker. Then maybe put an escape card in the graveyard. So we need a fort land so we can play uh, Triumphant Surge. Gray lit. I don't know what his name means. <clears throat> Can't wait to bring out my own grave baker, Lamia. Come on. We have quite similar decks. There you go. I can play the Hierophant first. He he might make me discard this. That's the problem. My, I want to go ahead and do this. I don't want him gaining life. It's going to free that next turn. Underworld Charger's coming, and we need to play Venomous Hierophant as a blocker here. There goes our fifth land. <coughs> that will bring more cards to our graveyard, so we can escape Ghost Rider later. Oh no. Okay. He's gonna free the Leonin. We need our pretty brave. We'll take this one. This can't block, so I guess we can attack, but we have to. I think we have to stay defensive right now. He's got four cards in hand here. Shoot! Wow. Wow. We have more one one more blight breath in the gray uh in the deck. Really? Which she can bring back. Then he's gonna escape. Here we go again with the uh, Landros. I think we're going to block the charger here, then bring back the strider. Oh, he can't escape the Leonin. 
Yeah, he can sacrifice the Leon in here. I don't know if he's seeing that. He might see that play right there. Yep, he's got it. He's gonna escape my... He's gonna kill my Woe Strider here. Kill the Temple Thief. Shoot, we are dying. It's hard to stop fight. Oh, great. Wow. All right, two losses, four wins. Come on, guys. Hopefully, we can uh, stop losing. Platy pie. Lady pie. Okay, turn two, Leonin. Turn three, Farika's Libation. Libation. Liberated. Liberation. How do you pronounce that? Okay. Don't miss a land drop, please. Another Rakdos deck. This is the third Rakdos deck we're playing against. And we have the perfect card to kill that, but he might have the Red Omen. If he has a Red Omen to kill my Pride, then that's not good. There you go. There you go. They always have the red omen when they need it. At least we can make him sack this card. Then we can exile it with a harpy. Oh, stuck in three lands. Goodbye. That's when we play the Harpy. Okay, I think we will get this. As long as we don't miss our fourth and fifth land drops. Because we can't play anything else. Oh, we can play Farika's Libation, but... It's got five lands now. We need fourth land. There you go. For... Uh, we can go go ahead for Rika's Libation. I'm gonna save the Triumphant Surge just in case he, uh... Use this while we can. Save it for s a another big creature. Oh no, he's... Uh, sure. We can't for Rika's Libation this one. Uh, that could b block the Blight Breath. Come on, we need a fifth land. Labyrinth of Scophos. That's cool. What? Thank God. Grave Breaker Lamia bringing out. Woe Strider! It's a team. They're, they're a team. Okay, he's gonna give one of them indestructible. And we'll take that. No blocks here. And we'll kill that with... Triumphant Surge. No block. No attacking. Just gotta stay defensive here. Oh, it returns an aura. Doesn't return an enchantment. My bad. I thought you could return any enchantment. I misread that card, guys. I thought you can bring back any enchantment. That would be too good, right? It has to be an aura. And we don't... I don't think we have an aura here. Hmm. 
And six mana. Two, three, four. I want to keep the flyer just in case I need to exile a card from his graveyard. Transcendent Envoy. No attacks here in their turn. I guess you can attack Great Breaker Lamia. <coughs> we can bring it back later, right? We can double block the Great Breaker. Oh, he can labyrinth. He, he can uh, remove an attacking creature from combat, so he can do it on the Lamia. He's gonna use it now. No. This is why we need Field of Ruin and Limited, which we don't have. I think we need to overwhelm him because he can only bring out a cre one creature per turn. So we might have to attack both Strider and Lamia at the same time. They get the toughness boost. He can exile, he can bring out one of them. <clears throat> sure. I wish he untaps it. Might have to sack the goat here later. Hmm, that's brave. Gonna sack it anyway with Blood Aspirant, so might as well sack it for my cause than his cause. And we get the scry. We can bring it back with Rise to Glory. Okay. Rather do sack the goat for Soul Reaper Mogus. He can double block this one. Okay, I like that. Uh, sure. I'm glad he did did he forget to activate this card? I guess he's gonna flash something. I don't know. Yeah, he forgot to activate that. Card advantage. Hmm. Not another land. I 
guess we can play Rise to Glory now. In our library, the woe. Fine. Go ahead and rise to glory. I don't have an R in the graveyard. Let's see what I don't want to draw. I don't think I want to draw another swamp. So Reaper Mogus, another blocker. Another envoy. You can stop one of my creatures. Uh sure, why not? Attack all of them. <clears throat> Did he forget to use this again? I guess he's de declaring blockers first. Yeah, you only got four life. Sure. What? Did you forget to activate that again? What is his target? Rebreaker Breaker Lamia? Okay, we can sack that. Okay, so that's why he didn't activate the skull flow. I think that's game. Is there a board wipe? Unless he has a board wipe. Sure. Final death one of them, I guess. I think that's game. This will be our fifth win if we actually get this. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's... You have to try to deal with at least two of them. <laughs> Bladey Pie! Fifth win, guys. Five wins, two losses. Let's try to get two more wins with this stuck. All right. Smash that like button, guys, if you enjoyed that last game. Hopefully, we can um, try to win two more. Hmm. Keep playing against Jambro. Uh, we can go Leonin. Probably Envoy. For, I don't know. Okay. Green, blue. It is. Go to Leonin first because it's higher, higher, higher. It has higher power. Simic. First Simic game. First time I'm playing against Simic in this video. Oh, he's got Clothis. So it's a teamer deck. Maybe a splash of red. Uh, if it was a land card. Wow, that's pretty good. We have final death against that, so... Go ahead and play our harpy here. Let's try to be aggressive. <coughs> there goes the red mana. I think it's just splashing red for Clothis. Okay. He's gonna play Clothis right now. Clothis, God of Destiny. Love the art by Magali Villanueva. Villanueva. At the beginning of pre-combat main phase, he either adds a red or green or gains two life. It deals two damage. Uh, you may exile. Okay. So it's a good card against escape creatures. We can bite bread that later. All right, Blight Breath's coming next turn to maybe kill this one. Swing our flyers. Two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, let's try to attack. He's gonna gain life though. And he, that might become a creature. One thing's for sure, we're gonna bite bread something here. Got two bite breaths too. I hope he plays a big creature. There you go. We need that card. Oh, we need him to play that card. So he'll have devotion. A seven. He needs devotion seven. Two, three, five. So he this doesn't become a creature yet. Mm. 
We can just black breath that later. We'll go ahead and do it on the Hyrex here. He might have a counter spell though. He's got three mana, four mana open. He might have a counter spell. Great, no counter spell. Great, great, fantastic. We can kill both creatures with both Blight, blight Breaths, then make him sack the Clothis later if he doesn't play any other creatures. Great, great for him. Let's still attack that one. He can block that. It dies. That has reach. Let's see. Okay. Ah, oh, great. Sure. Not like I'm gonna bring that back anyway. Great. I have another one. Brave. Very brave. No blocks here. We can make him second enchantment. I think Claudius is dead. If he's second champion, he's just gonna... Mm, yeah, I can make him second champion now. Or sack a creature. Blight Breath. The converted, uh, it's still black converted mana cost, so it still counts as devotion. Yeah, I think we got this. Then we're gonna bring out, um, Strider. Oh no. I think we're gonna make him sack the enchantment first. Because Strider won't. Shoot. I guess it will make him suck. I don't know. It's tough. I think we might make him suck the creature now. Wanna trade? Soon. It's like a creature. Oh my gosh. It's a race. He's catching up. How is he? Ga he gains life with that? Come on. Sure. It's gonna gain two life every turn. Come on. Mm. 
Now he's got a blocker. Choose one. He's going to exile it anyway. He's going to get a swamp. That way we don't draw another swamp. Sure, come on. He's gaining life with that. So he has devotion from that one too. So he's devotion two, three, four. He needs three more devotion. He's getting three life each turn. Come on. How great. Attack them all. Okay. We need to that. We need that thing that brings back an enchantment and a creature, uh, an aura and a creature. But we don't have an aura in the graveyard, so it doesn't really matter. Great. No, no creature in the graveyard too. We need to attack Great Breaker Lamia eventually, because it got life link. Great. We can exile Clothis here. Time to banishing light that cloth is. I hope he doesn't have an enchantment removal. Okay, two five creature. He's still gaining life. Okay, I nothing to bring back. Just got reach. Great. We can bring that back with Rise to Glory later. Same blocks. It's a grindy match. And he's gonna gain life. Oh, he, he can't because he doesn't have a god. Come on. Not a land. Gaining four life each turn, it's great. Okay, now I can block all of no. Okay. Very defensive deck. Got fourteen cards, he got seventeen. I'm winning the mill game, but he might free that soon enough. I need Strider. Oh great, now he can double block my flyers. Maybe that will give this will give us a target. Got 
could have attacked that one. Okay, we can kill something for four. I think I'm going to kill one of the Nexus Wardens. Yeah, why not? Oh, this can't be blocked. Yeah, I'll take that too. Sure. Blocking my Lamia. Then he's going to take five. Okay. That's going to be freed next turn. It's already freed. Let's go rise to glory. Great. I think I have to do this now. Sure. There you go. Six win. Smash that like button, guys, if you enjoyed that. One more lay. One more game. One more game, win or lose. Let's try to get to that seventh win. Playing against Luco Melas. Keep this. All right, last game, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, we win this last game. We didn't go undefeated this time. We got two losses. Unlike last time where we didn't get a match loss at all. I guess I'm just better in best of three than best of one draft. He mulligan. That's a good thing. Twice, I think. Okay, he can block with that. Should have played the planes. I don't want him ramping up. I should have played planes. That way I could have played this one too. Okay. Dude, that can't block. No, not a fight. No, no. I want those three cards. We need to land.
He can attack the charger, I don't care. Okay, one more land to play Blight Breath. So Reaper Mogus and Transcendent Envoy. Okay, this looks much easier than last game. No! He's gonna free that soon. Can't block this. Okay. No blocks. The hmm. Yeah, he can't. He needs more stuff to escape. Yeah, I'll attack all. I think that's game. This can't block. And if he plays, he needs to play two creatures at least. Or kill maybe two of my creatures. Can't escape that one. Yes, seven wins, guys. Please smash the like button if you enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter, guys. I'll put the links below. See you guys around.